I'm Jim. And I'm Frank. And I'm Jerry. And this is the JFJ Conspiracy Podcast, where the shop talk is rock. Gentlemen, this yeah. is episode number 80. Ah, wow. Rolling right along. 80? 80. Yes, sir. I believe so, Jaime, yeah? Yeah. yeah. I know Tonight we're in the high higher. 70s. I don't know. Maybe we've been talking about 80 for so long. It seems like we already surpassed it. It seems well, no, like we I... did a couple of yeah, we did a couple of special shows. We did a Barnett show, we did a Kiss show. So technically, yeah. you're right, Jaime. Maybe you should be 84, 85. Maybe more, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. We're, we're Frank's close. It's it's within a couple for sure. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, I just want to start real quick, and, and for our listeners and our viewers, uh, this podcast is successful when the bands that we play share the show. Because we've got our core listeners, and we've got our fans that are going to tune in. But when we get new listeners from the bands... Oh, that's great stuff. Oh, it's wow. awesome when we see the subscription numbers go up and everything else. So yeah. Do yeah. us a favor. We're not just here on YouTube. We're on Apple and every type of podcast platform you can think of. So uh, just ask Siri, play the JFJ Conspiracy Podcast, and uh, you, you'll, you'll get a bunch of different uh, episodes pop up. Mm -hmm. So, and the, and the thing is the people who listen to this podcast actually go out when they hear stuff they like they go out and buy it right mm -hmm. they will make comments hey i went out and bought all three bands or i bought this band i loved you know this that you know and it's it, it, it's it's a what do you call it it's a symbiotic relationship. Yeah, that's exactly that's it. <laughs> not only that, I mean, that's probably not even the right yeah. use of that word. But anyway, well, it is. Yeah. It is. I mean, yeah. I say not only that, I mean, not only is it symbiotic, but it's like uh, each relationship depends on the other. <laughs> well, there you go. Thanks. <laughs> and you, you know what I want to say about tonight's episode is when other bands listen to this episode they're going to realize that the bar has been set pretty high because we have three really good, fantastic bands for you. Tonight. Oh, boy. Yeah. But before all that, we're going to talk about Jim's classic pick from last episode. Jim? Yeah, my classic pick was um, Sticky Fingers, Rolling Stones, 1971. Go. Uh, I, I believe, I believe the first album that did not have, uh, Brian Jones on it, like no contributions from Brian Jones. Okay. Right. Shortly, shortly, I think after his passing is when, uh, when they went in and recorded it, but anyway, All right. so, um, our, our former foray into the Stones didn't go so well. And I remembered something about Frank <laughs> saying that Sticky Fingers was his favorite Rolling Stones album. Yes. Ah, well done, Jaime. And Jim froze. I lost Jaime. Yeah, he froze. Hold on a second here. Okay. You froze up there for a minute there, Jim. No, you guys froze. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Same to you, but more of it. Yeah. Ugh. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> Except you guys can talk to each other. And I was just right. doing nothing. That's right. So, so yeah. right after Sticky Fingers being my, what I told you was my favorite album. Right. So I thought we'd, we'd give that a shot and see how it went. Uh, a little more melancholy than I remembered this record being. Mm hmm they, they 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 dove into some blues and some acoustic tunes um, country country yeah. yeah i'm not real sold on mick singing country but you know yeah. it, it is yeah. what it they is. were big fans yes <clears throat> i i do want to mention though and in, in this cancel culture that we live in uh the opening track brown sugar i i'm gonna i want to first off claim complete ignorance on the lyrics as a kid i, I still do Okay. I, I like them now, now. Do I have to? That's funny. I picked that for one of you guys. That's okay. Um, I remember my older brother Tom. If my if I my deviate Frank, mm -hmm. uh, my older brother Tom, folks out in Conspiracy Land, turned me on to the Beatles with the White Album. So he's like six years older. He had a friend of his named Buddy lived right up here, had an Impala, all brown metal flake, uh, rims and brown sugar on the brown back sugar. window, and mm -hmm. I thought that was the coolest looking car I had ever seen. I think I remember I probably, that car. Uh, yeah, he's right up here on Cienega, I mean, yeah. 
Yeah. And uh, I, I never even knew, you know, probably until years later when I heard the song, oh, oh, that's why, but it was a beautiful brown metal flake. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Sorry. No, no. I, I, I love the song and did not, again, didn't even, I'm not even going to pretend that I knew what the lyrics were about. I still don't. Well, if you read them now, you understand why they're not playing it live anymore. Yeah, I but guess. I don't read them. I listen yeah. to the music. I go, that's a good song. Yeah. yeah. Let me understand correctly because I, I saw the whole spiel about them not doing it. Mm -hmm. It's about a slave girl. Correct. And uh, the slave ships coming over and then whipping the girls. So when I heard that song as a kid and it talked about the girl sold in the market down in New York, I thought she right. was a prostitute. I did too. I talked about the lady of the house. So yes. I'm thinking like she's running a whorehouse. It's a prostitute, yeah. young black girl. And I never, just, I never got a slave connection. Just right. Well, the way Mick sings, you're not hearing it until unless you're looking at the lyrics. You, you guys are amazing. You guys pick up stuff. I'm, a, yeah, and you know. even now, like Stone songs, I was like, <laughs> are you, you you see the lyrics or you see the title, and you're like, oh, that's what he's saying. Yeah. I had no idea that's what that was. <laughs> I've been yeah. singing that wrong for fifty years. Yeah. Fifty years. <laughs> <laughs> So with, with that being said, uh, again, if, if they feel they, they, they can't sing the song anymore, even though what's so crazy, why is it bad now when it wasn't bad 20, 30, 40 years ago when they actually had black backup singers singing the song with them? Now everybody is so sensitive, and, and I don't want to get on any tirade about that. This, this show's not about that. It's just, it's a damn good song. It's yep. got some questionable lyrics. Okay. Does that mean it gets canceled? Did Did you ever see that that documentary about what what's it called? 20, 20 feet from stardom, or something. It was about side side musicians and backup singers. Oh, yes, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, one of the gals was a backup singer for the Rolling Stones, black gal. Right. And I thought they had said something. She's the one who inspired the song "Brown Sugar." Could be, yeah. So I thought the song was, yeah, loose, loosely based on her, even though. So then I that like through the whole prostitute thing off. I was like, well, I don't, maybe I don't know what the song's about. Yeah. I still don't. That's but she was a good looking gal. Yeah. I can understand how she would inspire songs. So, yeah. Well, and if Mix in the band, she's getting busy. So anyways, excellent album, Jim. The, the, in a whole, yes, I, mean, I think yes. it's about 38 minutes long. It's, it's uh, a little longer, I think. It's oh, yeah, I 45. I didn't write that down. What'd you I write down? Keep that. I, I know I can't I can't believe oh. I did not write that down. Okay. Yeah. 40, 46 is, minutes is what I saw. Yeah. All I have okay. is April 71. Yeah. Excellent album. So Jim, go, going moving forward, what was your favorite song on that album that you picked? This there's a few on there that I just really love, but if, I think if I had to really just say the one song, it, it would be Brown Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> now now going by what we just spoke about, I thought no, I'm going to go with the flip side to that single of Brown Sugar, which was Ooh. Bitch. Uh, that would have been my second choice. Yeah. It Jerry, was it was down to those two. Yeah. Here we go. Cosmically <laughs> mojoing again, folks. Jerry, what did you pick for Jim? <laughs> uh, for Jim, I picked Get Jim and Knockin'. Oh. <laughs> and, and do you know why I, I, just... I didn't pick that, Jerry? Why? It's seven minutes long. That's the only reason I didn't pick the that. The shorter, I almost, Frank, I hear you. I hear you preaching. I almost went, uh, I, I, I marked it down. There's one song there, I think, that's close to Jim's three-minute limit. And then I listened to it, and I go, no. Yeah. No, that's right. not Jaime. No, I know it's short, but it's not Jaime. <laughs> so, oh, my But I, I do like that song, too. There you go. <laughs> so do I. Now, <laughs> <laughs> Now I I again I, I do me. like brown sugar, but it was not my favorite. My favorite actually is bitch. Ah. So and so Dang Jim, it. what'd you got there? Did you get that? It's yep. backwards, but yep. there it says there bitch. You oh it. there it says Frank. All well right. done. Woo! Good job. I said I said, can't you hear me now? Yeah. <laughs> Just because of that riff. Yeah, I love Here that we riff. Go again, yes. Guys. We 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 missed, but we hit. <laughs> oh, this is yeah. awesome. 
good. And you know, Wild Horses is awesome too. Even yeah. Oh, for an I almost. Yep. 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 But, Great song, but it's yes. not riffy. It's not, not riffy. riffy. Like, no. can't you hear me knocking? <laughs> no. All right, all right, Jerry. That's wild guys. What What was your favorite song off this album? Uh, Brown Sugar. <laughs> I did say brown sugar for Jerry. <laughs> oh, and I went right, right down the line. See? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So we literally picked like four songs off the record. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> Good songs. Good oh, yeah. hard driving yeah. songs. Yeah. That's I like Dead Flowers. That's another song mm-hmm. I really Very good. Really love. Yeah. I put a question mark by that. That's wild. I put a question mark. Yeah. <laughs> I love this stuff. I love you guys. This is All wild. Right. So the the next pick will be mine, and I'll, I'll announce that a little bit later. Yeah. Um, but right now, Jerry, why don't you uh, fill us in on some new music? Okay. Uh, this uh, name of the band is Feral Vices out of uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, the name of the album, released December 3rd, so this month, is uh, With Offerings. Uh, the song Frank's going to play is Lay Down. We've got Alexander Hoagland, Justin Kotner. And uh, if you want to hit them up, it's feralvices.com. Uh, if you want to contact them, feralvicesband at gmail.com. Uh, and then I have a note here. It says, read phone. Okay. All music and lyrics by Feral Voices. Produced, engineered, and mixed by Nick Ruzesi at the Gradwell uh, House. Mastered by Dave Downham. Uh, uh by the way, folks on Conspiracy Land, they'll be playing at the Portal, January 22nd, Louisville, Kentucky. Um, the song Frank's going to play is um, they have they even have a, a, a notification on this specific song. It says, with a pared down approach, lay down delivers monstrous riffs and pounding drums. Feral Vices take black key vibes and get gritty and danceable in the most pleasantly surprising way. Tune up your air guitar, which you guys know I've mastered. Mm-hmm. And rock out to this garage band banger. And that's by Adobe Radio. And again, Feral Voices out of Louisville, Kentucky, uh, with Alexander Hoagland and Justin Kotner. And uh, they were in different bands. They met each other, and it's just blossom. And uh, again, the Frank, uh, song Frank's going to play is Lay Down by Feral Voices. Yeah.
Wow, that's Feral Vices Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. with Lay Down. Mm. I want to say right off the bat, it feels to me, Jim, like that's uh, almost early Black Sabbath mixed with some Soundgarden, <laughs> you know? With that, the, vo- the way the, the vocalist was singing that song was Ozzy all the way, right? Uh, you know, I got like, um, because of the guitar tone mm-hmm. and that little bit of the Rick, I was thinking like, Oz. Oh, a little reminiscent of paranoid in there, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking Black Sabbath. I wasn't making the Soundgarden connection, but now that you mention it, yeah, yeah. Um, I love, I loved the tone of the guitar, and yeah. uh, I love the vocals. Um, the that kind of gang, that little gang vocally thing. It almost sounds like they got going on. Yeah. Uh, well done. Well put together song. I, yeah. I enjoyed that. Was a good. How long was it? Oh, uh, three twenty. 320 yeah what, they what, need to what, shave what? about 20 seconds off but other than <laughs> at that, least yeah perfect. at least time yeah well you yep. know if they didn't have that breakdown i like that i like the breakdown where it came down just for a few bars yeah. and then it yeah. picked up great I, well well crafted tune yes barrel vices out of kentucky barrel vices, louisville kentucky louisville. playing at the portal uh january 22nd if you played that song and said where are these guys from i would not say louisville kentucky no. i would not even know I would not. What are you saying? It has to be a banjo. What, what are you? What are you getting at? Yeah, I mean, I expect well, some are country you? music. Yeah. Are you? Are you talking about some hee haw? My pigeonholing them. I don't know. That's terrible. But <laughs> talking about that um, song on Sticky Sticky Fingers. Uh, what was it? Uh, <laughs> I, I got the blues. Yeah, they're rocking or, and down in Kentucky. You tell you. They are. They are rocking. Oh yeah, Kentucky. they got it. Oh yeah. Well done, guys. This, this, yes, these two guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alexander right. Hoagland, Justin Kotner. Good job. That's Sweet. Feral Vices. Check them out. Okay, Thank before you, we, Frank. Yeah. Before we get to the next song, I, I forgot to tell you guys I had a mail call. I was oh, wondering oh, what happened oh. with that. Man. Yeah. I, and then I also want to play our Name That Riff ga- uh, game also. But Oh, uh, boy. I mean, you... I mean, he, he <laughs> stupefied us that first one. He did. Oh, and no. I and I noticed, I noticed people were guessing the exact. <laughs> oh, they what I, have been. How he can uh, pure, I bet he don't do that again, Jaime. Oh, I this, bet. This is we, need, we needed to start with that with the with the oh. with the riff. You and I were so sure, Jaime. Oh, I oh. know exactly what that song is, Frank. I only need one note. And we both guessed the same thing. And we, and we both guessed the same thing, and we both wrong. <laughs> Diamond so Dave. So this came in the mail. Yes, Diamond Dave on pink vinyl. Um. Have you got this uh, album, Jerry? It's it's a covers album, basically. All I have is the cassette of Little Ain't Enough. That's okay. all I have from Dave. Yeah. This, this is a kind of a far out there kind of album. It's not your, uh, it's almost like a contractual obligation or something because it's all, uh-huh. cover, all cover tunes. It's a good album. Is there uh, horns? Oh, what does he cover on it? He covers uh, the, the songs that you'll be familiar with is If Six Were Nine by uh hendrix um uh let's he redoes ice cream man once more and uh oh boy and they do a lot of songs that you probably wouldn't recognize um medicine man let it all hang out thug pop um made up my mind stay a while the night is young um uh, shoe bop she's looking good soul kitchen and um well soul kitchen i'd know yeah but it's you know, it's gatefold album. It's kind of neat. You know, he's they put a lot. So what year, uh, Frank? Gosh, this originally came out, I think, in two thousand three. I was gonna say that picture looks old. Yeah, well, he's got hair. Yeah, and uh, well, oh yeah. So, but this, this they just came out this year, as far as uh, the oh, okay. LP, the vinyl portion of it. It's huh. hundred eighty gram pink. Not really pink. It's kind of a see through. Mauve, puke. mauve yeah. salmon slash light salmon mauve. Yeah. But if you're a David Lee Roth fan, I highly suggest you pick it up. So, oh. anyways, moving yeah. forward, last episode we just brushed upon what I wanted to do called name that tune, name that riff, and uh, um, I think if you if you watched the show and you heard the riff, a lot of people thought, "Oh, sh- highway to hell, I got this, no That's problem." Easy. Can you, can you easy. play it? I can bring it up here in just a second here. Let's see. Uh, but what we found out is that wasn't the song. I, I was hoping you'd play it. <laughs> I, I'm going to go ahead and play it. Let's let me get it going right here. 
Just simply yeah. to help Jaime and I feel better, Frank. That's all it's for. <laughs> Let's see if I can find. Well, you know, it's funny when you when you pull this up, Kelly Clarkson pops up. So, um, bless her heart. Yeah. Hmm. Did she cover Highway to Hell? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, guys. <laughs> but the but the riff I have for you tonight, you you guys will get it. It's not difficult. <laughs> I, I I made this so simple. So <laughs> there's no way you can't get this this one coming up here. So. Um, here is the riff from last week. And I'll, I'll go ahead and play the song so you got it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Pretty obvious when you hear that. But when, it, you, it, when you hear that. You just hear those first three notes. <laughs> when you yep. just hear that. <laughs> But on, on second listening, Jaime, Frank is correct because if what I did was I went to both. And I almost said it on the show. I said, well, I know for a fact that's Highway to Hell, but it sounds a little light, mm. a little thin. Right. Highway to Hell is the same thing, but it's a little beefy, more beefy. I think it's just yes, tuned course, down a, a notch. Half, so. Yeah, okay. But yeah, it's, that was good, Frank. That was when you played what it really was. I was like, no way. I don't know anything. All right. Well, I'm going to play, I'll play another riff for you guys. Yeah. Okay. Now. Here we on. go, Jaime. Ready? Please uh, Jaime. There's Jerry. You froze up just for a second there, Jerry. Okay. So oh, I'm going to play a riff for you this oh, time. Yeah. And again, don't shout it out. We'll talk about it after the air. This is for the listeners. Um, it, it's so simple. It, it I felt so bad from the last one. So here we go. Yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> All right. You have to know what that is. Oh, yeah. Jerry, do you, you, have you got it yet? Uh, no. It'll 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 eat through your cerebellum there, and then it'll... Yeah, what's left of it. Yeah, oh, yeah. it'll come. It'll come uh, Gary, I get, guys uh, and folks on Conspiracy Land at our age... I know for a fact that's going to come in in about three days from now, and yep. it's going to come in. It's going to come in a hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And to our listeners, oh, yeah. if you know what song that is, go ahead and put it in the comments. Out. Email us, whatever you want to do, play along, yeah. and uh, see what you got. But you can't go wrong with that at all. All right. Anyway, you can throw it out again, Frank. Sure. Hold on, just a second here. Let's see. Yeah, look at Jerry. He knows it. He just can't spit oh, yeah. it out yet. It's bouncing. Spinning yeah. around back there. Yep. All right. Let's move forward, guys. I've got a band out Let's of Nashville, forward. Tennessee. Yes. No violins, no no cellos. I believe they call them fiddles down there. Fiddles down there in yeah, Nashville. That's, that's a fiddle in a stand-up bass down I, there. I was yeah. getting there. Whatever. Yep. But we, we don't have any of that. We've got some rock. If we can, guitars. if we can mutilate, if we can mutilate Kentucky, we can mutilate Tennessee there on you this go. show. <laughs> the name of the band is Faust. It's named after the uh, main guy, Chris Faust, oh. and um, he plays guitars, bass, bass um, uh, vocals, drums. Um, does a little bit of everything on this particular EP. Um, his drummer is Todd Solisher, and I truly apologize for butchering that name but that's what i do and also yeah, brian yeah. stanley helped out on guitars and the ep is called it's a vibe and uh the song i want to play for you is um the dark now you can find them at faustband.com and then all social medias facebook twitter instagram they're everywhere i found them on bandcamp uh, this is their third release that's on Bandcamp. In, in uh, 2020, they had a release called Revival. And then earlier in 2021, uh, Fashion came out. And then later, we get The Dark. or um, It's a vibe, excuse me, where The Dark is on. And think of Alice in Chains, Stone Temple Pilots, Velvet Revolver, all that kind of genre. And you get this ditty right here. I know that I 
There's Faust with the dark. Let's start with you, Woo. Jerry. What do you think? I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Uh, uh, I like that a lot. <laughs> I love the bass. I love the bass run. I love the vocals. Yeah. I love how they uh, good drums. I, I, it, it, it's good. It, it reminds me of like a couple bands, but then it doesn't. So I like it. Faust is yeah. I like that. I like that a lot, Frank. Very Especially good. that bass line. Oh, that bass line's heavy. You know, it's very pronounced. You know that you're love bassist. It. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Jim, what are your thoughts? Uh, if you told me that they came out of Seattle in 92, I would say yeah. that. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and not that that's a bad thing. Um, yeah, same no way, thing. thing. I love the bass in there. It's oh. uh, one of the main selling points of the song. Yeah. Um, Great. Yeah, very well executed, well written, uh, well well uh, well engineered, well recorded. It, the, the whole thing, you know, it was a complete package. I I looked at the vocals when I listened to it today and and read the lyrics. Two verses is all it has. But anything about slave girls? No slave girls. <laughs> but everything we can was, like it. <laughs> everything in there in in two verses and pretty much I like, yeah. I like the way the chorus ran and then he would change the last line and then go back to the top of the chorus yeah. again well crafted song just chris faust you got it going stuff. on buddy 
Well, Good well stuff. done, Chris. Thank you, Faust. Yes. Yeah. And again, Todd Schlosser, if I, you know, let me know how I uh, slaughtered your name. And uh, <laughs> my apologies. Well, it's a, it, yeah, it's a, it's a show. Uh, it's a show highlight. Yep. So. <laughs> Let's move right along to Jim's pick, and then we'll talk about my classic album and head on out of here. Okay. So I was actually had another band ready to go. And then I thought like, I'm going to, I want to look for a ska band. I want to find somebody local. And so, so I, uh, I started searching band camp for ska and I, so these guys were like a last minute addition, but I, I come across this band and I hear it and I say, it's recorded at strong studios oh. in long beach, California. And I'm like going, wow, this is like meant to be. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> and so uh, I was like, hey, this is, this is great. Like a local ska band. Fantastic. And so, uh, so I reached out to him like five o'clock this morning. I'm riding the train. Right. <laughs> and, uh, I hear back from them. They're like, yeah, sounds great. We'd love to love to be on the show. I'm like, fantastic. So I get their bio and I start looking for and it's Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I thought they were, I thought they were a Long Beach band, right? Anyway, they're called, they're called Cat Bite. Uh, they've only been around since 2019, only, only a couple of years. They're a mix of uh, two-tone ska and stiff records power pop. Features uh, classically trained Brittany Luna on vocals and keyboards. Uh, classically trained Tim Hildebrand on guitar and vocals. Ben Perry on bass and vocals and Chris Pyers on drums and vocals. Uh, this is their sophomore album. Uh, the newest one just came out in August. It's called Nice One. And the song we're going to hear is Call Your Bluff. So go ahead and drop the needle in the groove there, Frank. There's cat bite. <laughs> Excuse me. With call your bluff. Now I know there's Hi, an Orange man. County here in California, and wow. I know there's one in Florida, but I did not yeah. know there was an Orange County in Pennsylvania. Right. Unbelievable. 
And it sounds, it yeah, sounds yeah. a little no doubt ish, a little uh, say Ferris to me. Yeah, it's ska punk kind of vibe. Yeah. Baby Third wave. Punk. All that attack. together. Yeah. Uh, but you know, they, they cite like uh, specials and selector. Uh, I was going to say exactly. Two tone, two -tone yeah. bands. Yeah. Um, Elvis Costello. Oh, uh, I'm it. thinking Quite probably. Refreshing. You say stiff records, you get it with power pop. You got to say Nick. Well, Lowe. it, it, it adds Lowe. to our album cover of our classic album. You know, you could look at that album cover, uh, Sticky Fingers, and say, is that from Stiff Records? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm bummed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, very good stuff. Uh, again, that's very, awesome. very uh, Orange County sound to it. That's why. Oh, that's. Uh, got to love it. Absolutely. Upbeat. Yep. Oh, hi, man. To well, know that's well current, too, too is. Gives you faith in rock and roll, folks, on Conspiracy Land. To know that's current. <laughs> oh. And they look like a pretty young band. Yeah. Oh. Which uh, which I find encouraging. Um, it just makes you feel good. Makes you can go to Bandcamp, and they do have yeah. hard copies on CD and colored vinyl. They're already under their second pressing. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm now. telling you. I just saw Frank's eyeballs light up. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> Cat what fight. I'm doing after the show. Yeah, they're also also on Instagram, yeah. uh, also on uh, Facebook. You can find them, Cat Bite. I love the name. Out of Cat out Bite. of Philadelphia, I Pennsylvania. Too. I do too. I do too, Frank. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah it's a cool it's name. Neat. Yep. It's neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there you go, folks. That's um, a couple hard rockers and some ska for you tonight. So. Don't let anybody tell you there's not variety for you to listen to. No. It's, totally, it's, only, it's only rock and roll, but I like it. There you yeah. go. <laughs> All right. The next episode, episode 81, will be my classic pick. 81. Yeah. And, oh, you know, we graduated with, that year. with the recent uh, Let It Be uh, movie camp that came out. Get back. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I was going to pick Let It Be as the album, but after hearing so many songs during that nine hour documentary opus frank frank and jaime i i'm about an hour into episode two. Oh, you got a ways to go i know yeah. and it's killing me yeah. but i tell myself hang in there Jerry. Yeah. hang in there i do enjoy how it's, it's worth it you can see it revolve you can see it evolving right you can you know but yeah, episode two. I'm probably about an hour in. Yeah, good deal. I, Sorry to I interrupt, no, no worries. Sorry. I like uh, the third episode the best, of course, because that's where most of the music is played. Episode oh, yeah. two is almost the saddest part because they're you can just see they're floundering, and, and Billy Preston's yeah. like, "Let's go, guys. Let's get this going. Yeah, let's go. Let's go." Yeah. So, anyways, so the album that I picked and is because of the some of the songs that you hear during this. Uh, um, oh. documentary is going to be their singles album, Hey Jude. Now, good luck finding that on Apple, on iTunes or something, because um, not the easiest to find because it's not, I don't think they released it on, on iTunes. Uh, you might find it, but... Anyways, if you're familiar with the album, you know there's tons of great songs on here. I am not familiar with that record. Let me Nor run down. Let me run down some of the a... songs. This is the Hey okay. Jude album, known as Hey Jude. And uh, Hey Jude, Revolution, Paperback Writer, I Should Have Known Better, Lady Madonna, Can't Buy Me Love, Don't Let Me Down, Ballad of John and Yoko, Rain, and Old Brown Shoe. And these were singles. And Capitol put out this album. Hmm, okay. So Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. And it's it's a. I, prob I probably went right over my head. I mean, it's all previously released material, right? Yes. I'm not I'm not a big right. greatest hits guy or a right. singles collection guy by and yeah. large. This album. Yeah, but we, Frank is. I mean, no. Well, this one because it was Beatles Frank and it what it was an official album that came out back in the day. I got to licorice pizza. Oh, okay. Well, that makes that's better. Yeah. You know, if uh, it came out. Yeah. Oh, gee. Yeah. It, it is a true Apple recording release. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, and, and I, the we believed you. You didn't have to show us the link. I don't think you believe me. Well, he does. He, he does. I mean, he, every once in a while, as, as old as Frank is, he gets a little. When you and I tag team, he, yeah, he's, yeah. he's uh, he gets a little know, defensive. 
He does, oh, don't he? I, I don't want to be tag team. I don't want to be tag team. <laughs> we didn't even tag team him. We just I don't blame we you. Just, we, we just stated uh, we didn't know that was now. There which you I go. Did. <laughs> and of course, Frank has it in vinyl. I mean. <laughs> I'm of just course. surprised. I'm surprised that you guys didn't know that was an album. That's I did not know. No, I see the album not. cover. I think let it or uh, let it be. Yeah, yeah. No, that is yeah. And again, some of the rooftop songs are on there. A um, mm. couple different things. Don't let me down. Oh, cool, because they played that a lot on there. Anyways, Jerry, do you have anything yeah. you want to uh, say before we get out of here? Well, as we just heard from uh, uh, Feral Vices and uh, Catfight. And uh, Faust, uh, folks on Conspiracy Land, it's out there. It's out there and it's current. And just keep rocking, folks. Keep rocking. Right. Keep rocking. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. And, and again, share the episode with your fin- friends, family, fans. Um, we, we do this for ourselves, but we also want to uh, get some exposure for these bands that they may not normally yeah. get. Because, again, yeah. we, we go all over the United States, sometimes out of the United States, find these bands. Mm-hmm. And uh, the more people that listen to them, the way it, the, the more the music keeps on moving and keeps on yeah. going. It's wonderful, folks. And, yeah. and hopefully it, 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 you know, gets other people involved and they want to up their game, play a little bit more music and, and put out more music. So keep it up and um, share. Share that some bitch. So... Jim. And Frank is talking to uh, Feral Vices and Cat Bite and Faust when he says share, folks. There you go. <laughs> share it. <laughs> Jim, what you got for us? Well, the typical. You know, if you made it this far, smash the like button. Subscribe, ring the notification bell, leave a comment, take a guess on the riff. That's not a hard one this time around. It's pretty, no. pretty, I pretty thought that the first simple. Time. Yeah, I got it. I've played for three days. Well done, Frank. I love it. And and go to Bandcamp and drop a few bucks on these bands. There you go. Oh, Stop being a tight wide. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to say one thing before we go. That's our Frankie. You got I guess it now. I guess now the shop is closed. Well, there's, well, there's cat bite. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for that. With the lick of the day. <laughs> That's right. I got cut on. I always shouted out what that was. <laughs> That's a huge help. I have, I have my ears on, so yeah. Oh, but I have to edit that out. <laughs>